Okay, you see that dog right there? He is owner. This is why my dog's on a leash right now. While my head stays on a swivel. That dog's owner. You see him? You can see him running. He's owner. You see him running? Okay, let's see if I can. So much glare. This owner is because it's so much glare right now, man. That's his owner right there. This is why my head is always on a swivel. And I'm always uh <clears throat> got my dogs ready for put them on a leash. See how far away that dog was from his owner. And there uh, you see there's another gentleman walking with his dog. See there's such a glare right now. And there's a gentleman walking with his dog. Okay. And her dogs ran up to his dog. Now if his dog had been unfriendly, there'd have been a fight. But she had no very little control over her dogs. Now all right, this is what I mean by, like I said, good people with, with their so-called good dogs. I was sitting over here. This is her vehicle right here. This is where I was sitting. She just let her dogs off leash right there with my two dogs. I'm glad I was looking. I, had, I was able to leash my two dogs up because her dogs are nice. They're good and they'll never bite anybody, unlike my dogs who, at least in their mind, in the mind of society, my dog's been, been, now that dog's that came over to her and tried to mount Patty, or tried to mount Boss, which is what dogs do, that'd have been a fight, that'd have been some mess. And that'd have been my dogs, a vicious pit bull attacks, you know, two really good dogs, you know, two good people dogs. Just saying, man, keep your dog under control. Now, I admit, I come out in the daytime, and I'll get away from people, <clears throat> and I'll let my dog off leash. But I would never, ever, let my dogs off leash if not far away there was somebody else with two other dogs like I said that dog stopped he pissed he crapped or she did and then ran all the way back over there very little control over her dogs they don't get me twisted my dogs you know when I tell them to come they come and you know I let them run they play and everything but you know they know the rules you know but I'm just saying I had to make a little film like that, show that, catch a little bit of that, because if there had been some trouble, the newspaper would have read, pit bulls attack a good old German Shepherd and a good old Pointer. They wouldn't have, no one would have noticed that my two dogs were, uh, this individual saw my two dogs and let her two dogs off leash from them around mine. Like I said, I happened to look up and see her drive up. And I went and leashed my dog, because I always leash my dog when somebody gets kind of close to me. Usually they're on leash anyway. But when it gets to the point where I see people walking around, I leash them up real quick. But she just let her dogs off leash right there. And they walked all the way around there. And they ran there, ran it until this older gentleman with their dogs. Now, he could have been the person who was afraid of dogs or anything. But like I said, man, just want to let you know that this is the other side of the, the pit bull menace thing. You know good people, quote unquote good people, quote unquote with good dogs, making bad decisions that lead to fights with bad dogs. And then the bad dogs get put to sleep because of it. Because no one's gonna believe that a big black man with the two big pit bulls is not a bad person, that they aren't really vicious fighting dogs. No one's gonna believe that. That I was sitting over here minding my business and one of those dogs came over, tried to mount Patty, tried to mount Boss, and Boss beat the shit out of him. All they're gonna do is see a chewed up little German Shepherd, a chewed up little cute dog, and they're gonna wanna put my dog to sleep. Like I said, man, this is the other side of it, man. For good people, quote unquote, with your good dogs, man, keep them on leash. When they're around people, when you see people around, keep them on leash, man. People are afraid of dogs. There are a lot of people that are afraid of dogs. There are a lot of dogs that don't like other dogs. They don't like being mounted, they don't like their butts being sniffed. Not just pit bulls, but lots of other breeds. So, you know, just give us a little bit of a, well, just do, do what's right. When you see people, put your dog on leash. Now, we all come out, and we come out early in the day so we can let our dogs be dogs. I understand that. <clears throat> I do the same damn thing. But when you see somebody, put your dog on leash. Put your dog, leash your dog, walk by, walk by about 40, 50 yards, and let your dog off leash. 
with another guy. But when you see another dog within 40 to 100 yards, man, put your damn dog on leash. 40 to 100 yards ain't shit to a dog. That's, they can cross, boss big ass can cross that in a few seconds. And Patty, less than that. So, you know, and the dogs are off leash now. I'm just thinking, I'm thinking to myself, oh, I hope they don't come over here. I hope they don't come over here because I don't want no trouble. Because I've had to kick a few, uh, kick a lab or two off boss who was trying to mess with boss. And boss is like, man, look, I'm not playing with you. I don't play the whole, let me mount your booty, sniff your booty shit. You know, a lot of dogs don't like that sort of thing. Hell, Patty don't like nobody sniffing her booty with boss. Hell, I don't know. They're in love or something. Like I said, I just had to post a little bit on that. Kind of aggravated me a little bit. You know, because I like to let my dogs off and let them run around and be dogs. But at the same time, you got to be responsible. When you see, I can't keep repeating it, when you see another person or a person with a dog, put your dog on leash. If you see, if you're walking here and you see someone over there with a dog and their dog, you need to stop. Put your dog on leash. If you see somebody walking towards you, and if your dog's off leash, you need to put your dog on leash. If your dog is on leash, there's another dog walking from like from right there, about right there, to here. You need to say, hey, you know what? Leave it. You know, just just up your game a little bit, man. Don't have your dogs walking around sniffing on other dogs. It's a good way for fights to get started. And there's a lot of pit bulls being put to sleep behind fights they didn't start. Because hey, their owners walking, doing the right thing. But since the other person was a good person with a good dog, the person with the pit bull got in trouble and the dog got put to sleep. That wasn't going to happen here. Because if little, not like German Shepherds, little German Shepherd had ran his ass over here. I don't kick the shit out of him. He had to worry about boss biting his ass because I fixed to kick the shit out of him. All right, I'd rather, you know, go ahead and sue me for kicking your dog out in his ass, but you ain't finna put my dog to sleep behind no bullshit. That's all I gotta say, man. You know, we all like to go out and let dogs be dogs. I keep repeating myself because I'm a little aggravated right now. <clears throat> And we all like to enjoy them. You know, let the dogs run and film and run and play. But you see a person, man. That's why a lot of my videos are so broken up like that. When you see a person, okay, like this right here. This guy right here. This. Can I get him on video? You need to put your dog on leash. From here to here. That's that's too that's too close. A lot of people are afraid of dogs. If he's walking a dog, that's too close. When you see that guy, you know, put your dog on leash. Let the guy walk by. Let him get by. 50 to 100 yards, about 100, 200 yards, about 100 something yards away, and then let your dog loose. Or just keep him until the guy gets out of sight, just to be safe, man. Be safe, too. Use basic dog instinct. Just have some basic dog knowledge, man. That's all I gotta say. I repeated myself a lot, I cursed a little bit, and for that I apologize. But it kinda aggravated me, because that situation could have easily gotten out of hand between Boss and one of those two dogs. Or, that older gentleman and his dog, with those two, his older gentleman with his dog on leash, I mean, he could have, dogs could have had a fight, older guy could have had a heart attack, guy could have been a terrified of dogs, his dog could have been old, and could have been attacked before, he probably would attack one of her dogs, her dog somewhere on leash, and she was calling him, and they wasn't coming. You know, my dogs are hard-headed as hell, but here they come when I call them. You know, should work on your recall, man, and use, have better dog sense, that's all. I ain't mad, to, well, I'm a little upset at the lady. Because that sort of thing that gets you a little, you know, gets you gets a, a pit bull or a Rottweiler, a Connie Corso, or a presser put to sleep over some garbage. Find somebody who just has a, a good dog that likes other dogs, but is completely untrained. I'm sorry about all the fussing and shit, man. I had to, had to get that off my chest, show y'all a little bit of that, you know. I was starting to cut the videotape on, so I can have some evidence when the case one of the dogs ran up and I jumped on boss because like I said I don't know what them dogs are gonna do when they got over her if they if they did come in this direction. But since they didn't it's cool. But just saying the other side of the good dog, bad dog, good people, good dog, bad dog, bad person saying. Cause I know if I could have gotten I could have gotten a lot of trouble. Something bad could happen but it didn't, thank God. Peace.